Hi everyone, this is Ben again. Um, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm showing you how to uh, remove a green screen in Premiere Pro and replace it with um, any background layer that you like. It's some very simple, easy steps that I'm going to take you through. There's nothing to it really. So first you drag and drop your footage. This is the green screen footage that we have here. Um, first we are going to remove the uh, sound. And you can see um, we are going to remove the green screen here and just leave the subject. So we can replace the green with um, any background that we uh, desire. When you do a green screen, you have to make sure that is properly lit shadows on your green screen you're gonna have a, uh, a little bit of problems in the post to remove them so the more hard work you put into that when you're setting it up the easier it's going to be to remove it in the post before we remove that we're going to um, set the colors the way we want it I'm just going to play with the color correction a little bit I'm using a raw footage so um, I can actually adjust the colors a little bit. And now I'm going to go to the basic corrections and change the exposure, the temperature, contrast, highlights, and tint a little bit. And uh, once I've done that, I'm going back to the um, remove all of the green screen. Just playing with the temperature a little bit now. Um, bring it to the desired level. You can you can play with this the way you like it. Uh, depending on the background that you're going to use, um, you adjust the colors to go with your background. The background that I'm using today it's a sunset ocean at the sunset time and. Um, it has a little bit of the orangey color into it so i have to match my subject with that background now we're going to the effects um, choose the ultra key drag and drop it into your timeline you can see the ultra key here on the composite here you need to click the first one and on the default settings you use um, you choose the aggressive one now this little pen drop pen you drag it and click it as close to the subject as possible like so and you can see that the uh, green is now removed so the black color basically means that the background is now transparent um, you can see the little line that we've got here. That's because of the crease on the uh, green uh, screen that we had. And it's very easily fixed now because it's not too much. It's just a little line. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to choose the cleanup section. And move the midpoint to 100, 99 or 100. Okay, and drop the and increase the contrast to 38. That's it. Now you can see that it's all removed. Now we have a very clean, transparent background. Okay, great. Everything's fine. So I'm going to drag and drop my background below this footage. Um, so I'm going to. I'm going to have to get rid of the sound and move up the footage so that I can place that underneath it. And there you go. You can see that um, you've got the ocean, the sunset time, and you've got your subject on top of it without any noise or any scratches. Obviously, you need to put a little bit more time into this because if you want to get a really good work out of it. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going very fast through everything. Now I'm just going to adjust the colors a little bit, increase the temperature 
on the um, subject just a little so that his face is not as white and kind of has a little bit of the orangey tone into it and now what I'm going to do is to cut the uh, a little bit of the start point that I don't want So that his movement goes with the music that I've chosen. Of, of course, the, the, the instrument that this guy is playing is not that music that you're hearing. It's just for the uh, sake of a little bit of giving the a little bit of excitement to this tutorial. I've just chosen this music. I quite like this music actually. It's really nice. And it just happens that his face movements uh, goes with it um, accidentally. You know, I haven't uh, planned this uh, anything. It's just when I put the music in and uh, put this footage on top of it, I just realized that his movement and his face movements it just goes with the music. Um, okay, now I'm going to create an an adjustment layer now with these settings because I want to change the uh, exposure and the uh, basic colors on both of these footages now both the background and my subject I want them whatever adjustment that I make I want it to be applied to both of this and um, that's it we're done let's take a look at it There's really nothing to it, it's very simple. Only if you follow these few simple steps, you can um, remove the green background and replace it with any uh, background that you like. But just make sure that when you're actually setting up the green screen, be very careful, spend a little, little bit of time, be patient with it and make sure that it's, like I said before, it's well lit. It has to, your lighting has got to be perfect so that your screen is free from shadows. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of problems in post uh, removing it. There we go. This is our, our green screen removal tutorial. I hope you liked it, please, Give thumbs up, leave me your comments and feedbacks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, let me know what you think and let me know what other tutorials you like. Thank you very much and thank you very much for watching this tutorial.